Hey, a victory today for students, teachers, and parents in the Atlanta and Fulton County school districts. A judge ruled that Fulton County can collect property taxes. The state put a stop on collections last month, and the school district said they were going to be in big trouble if the tax money didn't come in. Fox News Morris Diggs was in court for today's hearing. He joins us now live in Morris. The school superintendents must be overjoyed with the news from today. Well, they're happy to be able to avoid a crisis, a financial crisis, with the prospect of having to close the doors because they can't pay the teachers. Now, as one leader told me, this does not put them out of the woods. Cost cutting has got to continue, including the fact that they can't keep some promises on teacher pay. We have no other place to turn. We need your help. Judges every day make decisions that impact an individual, a family. This time, the pending ruling carried far greater consequences. Between the two school districts, we're talking about 150,000 young students in Fulton County and Atlanta um, that are looking to go to school in December. At issue, city and county schools face doors being shut. If the judge did not override a property tax assessment dispute, between the state and Fulton County leadership. The state rejected the digest sent over by the county, meaning that no new tax dollars would flow into school or government coffers. At the emergency hearing, Judge Alan Harvey signaled his decision in favor of the schools would not be difficult. It could be irrevocable harm to the counties and the school, not only right now in paying bills, but the credit rating. All right, well, best wishes, everybody. I hope you can get this all straightened out. First off, I want to say thank you. Today was a very significant hurdle for both of our districts. Jeff Rose is the superintendent for the Fulton County Schools. We are not out of the woods. Today was a big day. However, we have some other hurdles to overcome. Still, the system will have to play catch up with some cost cutting and Atlanta echoed that stance. For Atlanta Public Schools, it still means that we will have to reduce the, um, the number of bills that we're able to pay every month. We are still going to uh, have to furlough some tar targeted um, employee groups in the system, and we'll try to do that in a smart way when kids are not in school. Some Atlanta staff furloughs, but no teachers. Now, so the other side of this argument, what about the property owner? Well, a lot of you are going to see some higher taxes you're going to have to pay. Those notices, they're hoping to get them out by November 15th. And once the notices are out, you'll have 60 days to pay your taxes. Reporting live from downtown Atlanta, outside the Fulton County Courthouse, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.